And speaking of great songwriters, uh, here's a song that Mr. Segarini wrote. I won't tell the story, because Bob gets upset every time I tell the story. <laughs> but, but basically, uh, I had this idea, I had a little problem with a club owner one night, and, uh, and I wrote some a few verses, and, uh, and I couldn't finish the damn thing, so I emailed it to Bob, and Bob finished it for me, and this is basically more Bob's song than mine, but I did have the idea, and it's also a little bit of a tribute to uh, one of my heroes, Les Paul, who just passed away. It goes like this. Well, I wore leather pants long before Travis tripped. My hair flowed down my back long before it was hit. That's when I pawned my valuables and bought myself a stash of records made by Randy Shell, Guy, and Johnny Cash. But the whiskey made me crazy. Made me cry till my sweetheart went and left me. She didn't have to tell me why. So I went on the road. I was trying to learn my craft. Getting by, getting high, mostly getting smashed. I met a promoter. He said his girlfriend could sing. I met a lot of drummers who taught me how to drink. But the drummer fell off a stool and on the chair I took a pass. The promoter took it personally, he said he's gonna kick my ass. But I said, you can't intimidate me, so don't you even try. You know I sparred for the best, I even made Lydia Lunch cry. He tried to grab my throat, but I guess he was a klutz. Cause he landed on his knees when I kicked him in the nuts. And when he started whining and looked like he would cry, I hit him with my last ball. Now I believe a man can cry. Just a little guy, and I don't like to fight. But that son of a bitch was seven foot tall, and he was gonna punch out my lights. I really had no choice but to whack him with my axe. Then I hoped he was still breathing, but his eyes turned dim and black. Well, I knew I had to beat it, so I headed for the door. I left my left paw bleeding right beside him on the floor. Jean-Luc Picard. It said, Seth, go back in there and grab that damn guitar. I said, I ain't going in there alone. No matter what you say. Then I thought for a minute and I went, hey, who is this anyway? The boy said, Seth, my son. That question seems so odd. I thought you'd recognize me. It is the voice of God. So me and God strolled back inside, fueled by righteous fear. While God kept up his pep talk, saying, I had not to fear. So I asked God from the heart why he was so adamant. He said, you can always replace a fender, but a Gibson is heaven sent. <laughs> God retrieved my axe, so I guess I'm born again. Cause now I know that God and me will be buddies till the end. Well, I used to be an atheist, but now I've seen the light. I used to think that God was dead and Nietzsche was right. But anyone who backed me up to rescue my last call must truly be a savior. So there's a God after all.